Hey, what's up YouTube? All right, today we are going to be working on the LS again. We're gonna be putting in the oil, relocation, oil relocation kit um, hoses. We also need to put in the dipstick. And then I pulled all of the accessories and things like that, water pump, alternator, power steering, all those things that we need to put back on the front as well. And we're gonna see if we can get the valve cover gaskets changed as well. We'll probably do that uh, sooner than later. All right, well, let's get started. Our plan is to route the hose, get this other hose out of my way, Our plan is to get it on here and then route it around up here the same as uh, the power steering lines are. So I'll go ahead and put one line through here. Well, it's not quite wanting to cooperate, it's a really kind of stiff wire. I'm gonna put it on the lower. And you wanna be careful not to over tighten these as you could probably crack the housings and stuff like that. We'll slide these up here. Try to find a good area you don't want it touching the power steering line either this seems pretty good make sure you pay attention again which side says out and which side says in before you start putting it on the oil relocation I'm taking a crescent wrench and I'm gonna tighten it down as best I can all right, with a one inch and a little bit of trimming, I was able to get the first the first uh, oil relocation line on. And the the reason why you got to do a little trimming is the wrench will end up hitting this one, it makes it really difficult. So you do a little trimming, you'll be able to get that. Now I'm going to put the other one on, but just to make sure, let's see if we can see, they are labeled without and in. So make sure you remember. I don't want to say this is for all of them because I'm not 100% sure, but you have a long uh, you have a long tube and the short tube and the short tube is the out that it goes out of the engine and then into the oil filter Then it'll come out of the oil filter and then in to this long one Once you finish tightening it down, you can route the other line the same way through as the first one. I actually want to make sure you don't kink the line. when you're getting it through. All right, there we go. You can see the lines that come up. We can keep these down. We we'll wanna keep them down here, kinda low away from 
and this is the exhaust manifold here. And that will give us good enough space and we'll probably do a little wrapping as well. A little heat shield wrapping. And that will keep them pretty low. Now we gotta find a place to mount the oil filter relocation. Probably try to find somewhere right over here. It'd be nice and out of the way and be easy to get to when trying to do an oil change. All right, well, what we'll do next is we're gonna get the dipstick in because, well, it came with and you know, an aftermarket or I don't know, whatever. It came with, it came with a dipstick from, with the sticky kit. So might as well uh, use it. Uh, we need to put a little Teflon tape on the end and then get this, uh, get this bolted in. What we'll do is we'll take the connector, get a little Teflon tape and put it on. You don't want to put too much, but you want to get enough on there. Make sure it covers the whole area. Use it as a seal. All right. And then the edge, or the uh, sock is actually a 19. So I get a 19 millimeter long and we'll get it placed in. And you can see the little bung down there just start it you want to get it tight but not too tight because this is brass and you will break stuff Get it nice and snug. There we go. I feel like I want to get a little bit more, but it's it's pretty snug on there. All right. can get your end but I think what you'll want to do is snake it through your headers and you want to have it over there and you want to have this coming up next to it over here you have that I think that'll be pretty good it should be away from the alternator brackets but I am gonna make sure just in case of course with my box of stuff it's like oh what brackets what brackets what bolts and comes back to the good thing I did before which was label over here I can see we have the alternator brackets and the alternator bolts with what's long and what's short so taking out a little extra time is really helping again all right, I'm gonna get these mounted up, uh, put on, because I am gonna put the accessories on, but I wanna make sure, you know, before I tighten down the dipstick that this actually clears those, because that would be a pain. As you can see, it's a pretty tight fit, but with the dipstick in, you can't really tighten the back alternator bracket bolts. So before you actually bolt that up, get your alternator brackets tightened uh, just to save you a little bit of the trouble. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put the front bracket on as well. Once I knew the, the dipstick would fit around the alternator bracket, the rear alternator bracket, uh, when I put the alternator bracket on, it left it, it left the dipstick at an angle, it was just a little bit tilted, so I could not get it quite seated right, so I took the bracket off. 
got it seated down a little bit, then put the bracket back on, and yeah, you can just get your 15s around that side. And the actual, the size for the, not for the brass, but the size for the dipstick here, use a 17 and get that torqued down. And then I'm gonna take off this one exhaust manifold bracket. You can take off this one, one exhaust manifold bracket and then bolt that in and that will leave it right there in that position. And that should be good. Hopefully there is not any uh, issues with a spark plug as the spark plug goes right here underneath and hopefully the wire can just go right beside it and not even touch it but we'll figure that out later for now I'm just gonna get that bolted in and then keep going with the alternator bracket and front alternator bracket get the bracket uh, probably come up here get the power steering pump uh, brackets get that on and look at trying to get these power steering lines uh, made it up I got that nice and bolted down, nice and sturdy. I could probably tighten this just a little bit, but it seems to be holding on there well. And then dipstick. All right, let's keep going with the alternator. All right, I got the alternator bracket just kind of on there. I'm gonna put the alternator in then slide the two bolts again we got it labeled so it's easy got the two long bolts in the front and two long bolts in the front and one short bolt in the back it was kind of a pain to get this uh get the alternator on the bracket it really wasn't wanting to cooperate so i'm just taking the bracket off i'm going to line it up then stick the bolts through and then get that on there probably do this all in, as one unit onto the engine probably a little bit easier. If you are doing it this way, just, uh, you know, get everything on there. Don't torque anything down. Don't tighten them down yet. I believe they all go to like 18 foot pounds or something like that with the, uh, with the aluminum block and whatnot. But, you know, you get them all kind of, you know, in there screwed up and then you can get them all set and then you start torquing them down once all the screws are in. Um, I think I'm going to actually Stop on the accessories. I'm gonna put back my the air condenser. Condenser, yeah. I'm gonna put that in and then I'm gonna drop the radiator in. That way I kinda have a good idea of when I'm putting the water pump and all that stuff on. Because I think the the radiator is gonna come out to here. In order to have the video not so long, I can go ahead and cut it here. Uh, we'll get the next video up as soon as I can. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace out.